Well, God bless you. Isn't God great? He's greatly to be praised. And he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. How great is our God. Since our God is great and greater than all, we have the foundation of faith upon which we can build our future. Our future as the people of God is so grand and glorious. Why? Because the earth is the Lord's. The fullness thereof and the world and they that dwell therein. Cattle on a thousand hills belong to him. Him. And I tell you something else, the wood, the trees, the wood and the forests, the mountains where the ore and the gold is. Yes, the lakes and the rivers where water is all belongs to our father. How great is God. Jesus taught us how to pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. What is the will of God? Well, the will of God is that men would work and that men would worship. The Bible said that God seeketh such to worship him in spirit and in truth. Those that are able to worship, those that live according to the truth. Yes, those that they know the word of God and live it according to their knowledge. God is great. And able to do exceeding abundantly. I'm saying that again. Above that which we can ask or think. Then Jesus taught us something. He said ask. And it shall be given. Jesus said amen. Seek and ye shall find. He also said knock. And the door. The door. The door. Shall be open unto you. What door? does the saints need at this time? Well, they need a door to enter in as shelter for their bodies and their families and all of their household belongings. They need that door. Yes, they need a door of employment, a door of finance, a door, amen, that they would be able to have what they need in order to pay light bill, gas bill, telephone bill, water bills. Yes, all of that is attached to the household. And then there is another level, the level of leadership. Leaders need a door. Yes, they need a door. And the doors are open now. The doors are open now. The doors are open. What doors are you talking about, Apostle Morris? The doors of the places that call themselves churches. Yes, the doors are open, the houses of worship. Yes, God has blessed and God has released his grace and his mercy and scientists and doctors have worked together and there are ways of escape concerning the pandemic concerning the viruses there are ways of escape so therefore there is no excuse for people to sit in their houses in their homes and say I'm not going. We're not open. No, the leaders. It's up to the leadership. It's up to the pastors. 
It's up to the bishops. It's up to the overseers to gain a place of worship, a place of gathering for the people of God. Now, if you are connected with someone that is lacking in faith, lacking in favor, then you need to find you someone else to follow. Jesus said this about himself. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. Jesus said, the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Every good shepherd is going to find a place for the people together. I'm telling you, that doesn't mean that his name has to, her name has to be on the mortgage or on the deeds. But there are places that people can go in periodically. They can go in often. All they got to do is pay. <laughs> And have people gathered. You know, someone said this about wisdom. A hint to the wise is sufficient. It's time to get to church. It's time to go to church. It's time to worship God in a building. It's time to get up and go into the buildings. Amen. Get up, saints. Go to church. Amen. I'm going to say it again. If the person that you're following, if they're not leading you to an address to have church, you need to find you another leader. It's more in the Bible than teaching against sin. The people need to be taught, amen, how to mature in the Lord. Yes, how to grow in the faith. And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's the responsibility of the five-fold ministry. To teach the people of God. Ah, yes. Facebook is good. YouTube is good. Wherever it is. Periscope, that's all good. Zoom is good. But it's nothing like getting in the church. Hey, shalaba. Hey, glory to God. Nothing like going to church. Nothing like getting your body in the building. Amen. Where you can just let your voice ring loud. Let your body yield fully to the power of God. So that you can be refreshed and renewed. And that's what happens in the presence of the Lord. For the Bible has declared, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Let me admonish you today. Amen. Go to church. Well, God bless you. Amen. Love you. Praise the Lord. Now, June the 12th through the 18th, the tabernacle will be up. Amen. We're expecting it to be at 7200 South Emerald, June the 12th through the 18th. Sunday will be 3 p.m., Monday through Friday, 7 p.m., and Saturday, amen. We're going to say to be announced. We may uh, have just a day service and so that the people can have a chance to rest before the next day. Hallelujah. So, We're looking forward to the power of God meeting us under the tabernacle. Oh, yes. And we're giving God the glory and expecting his power. So, stay encouraged. If you have more questions about what we're getting ready to do, email me. Send me an email. ApostleJM at gmail.com. Apostle J M at Gmail dot com. Apostle J M at Gmail dot com. I love you. God bless you. Hope to see your face in the place.